Hello to each and every one of you that are watching here on my personal page live. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a whole conversation. The conversation. Let me say what it is. My, Little dog. I just saved this dog today from becoming Chinese food. And our uh, uh he already getting on my last nerve. My children done tricked me and made me do this. But he just is cute and I love Dotson House. His name is Isaiah. But he keep digging over here on this carpet and I'm at to tear that tail all the way up. But anyway, for those of you that do not know, my Facebook page with almost 60,000 people, you know, every time we go over there live, it's about 1,000 people watching us. That page is temporarily down. You can still go to it and see everything that I posted, but I cannot put anything new up there until Facebook decide that they want to allow me to do it. But as of right now, I cannot. And what, who's this? Who, what's your name? Zoe. Zoe? You got some business over here? Anyway, so I will be live tomorrow, Monday night show. You, you guys got to tell everybody. I'll be live on LarryReadLive.com on my website at 8 o'clock. I'm going to do an 8 o'clock show tomorrow. And the 8 o'clock show tomorrow is going to be the beginning of a series of things that we're going to be doing as far as interviews that are coming up. Now, I'm going to say this here. You know he's going to your... I want to interview Bishop George Bloomer because he done ripped Benny Hinn a new one. Now, you got to Google to find the video. I may put it up on the YouTube orations after I upload this video on YouTube. But you heard Benny Hinn say that you're not giving no more thousand dollars quick to prosper. This folk giving up money. The, the Lord rebuked me. I ain't doing it no more. Ain't no God in none of that no darn more. Well, I happen to believe that what Benny Hinn was really trying to say was that how some of these preachers and prophets use the whole giving aspect of things to really manipulate and take folk money. That's what I think Benny Hinn was trying to say. But the way that he did it, the way that he did it, it almost made it seem like that any preacher that asks you for giving $50 towards the building fund is been doing something that is out of order. So Bishop George Bloomer has absolutely ripped Benny Hinn, a new one with teaching, and he is going on TV, podcasts, at his church. This is like his mission from God to make sure Benny Hinn know that he was wrong. You were wrong for allegedly dating Paula White. You was wrong for allegedly divorcing your wife to do that. And you was wrong allegedly for getting up there and talking about the preachers ain't supposed to get no more money from folk to, to build their churches. Well, how are they supposed to do it? But I really think that Benny Hinn was really trying to say that some of these preachers and prophets, they abuse it, that prosperity gospel type going on. To live high off the hog, like we say in the country. That's what I think he was trying to say, but I ain't too sure. But we need to find out from the horse's mouth. So I need Ben to hen, the white Ben to hen, not the black Ben to hen. The black Ben to hen, I don't want to talk to him. I did want to talk to him, but not no more. I don't want to talk to him no darn more. I want to talk to the white Ben to hen or to Bishop George Bloma. I want to talk to, and find out from the horse's mouth, find out what he's saying. I want to understand how the rippage is occurring that he's doing as it relates to white Ben to him. That's what I want to do here on this platform. And I also would like to talk to Pastor Thomas. What's what his name? Did I put that in here? Pastor Tom Anderson. Well, let me tell you what happened with Pastor Tom Anderson. August the 3rd, well, I think it didn't hit the internet until like that first week of August, he came out of the closet. Now, let me let everybody understand what that is that's watching me. You may not know what it is. It's when a man or a woman desires to put pain tip to pain tip. Pain tip to pain no. tip. No, <laughs> No 
<laughs> That's so, that smells so good. Oh my lord. We're done here. <laughs> or when a woman desire bread basket the bread basket. No. Desire puss to puss. Your lips on my lips. But they hide it from everybody. For so long that they feel like don't nobody know that, you know, that uh, they really like lip to lip, pink tip to pink tip. And so one day they decide I'm going to come out of this secret closet and let everybody know, swing the door wide open, take it off the hinges if I got to, to let everybody know that I like lip to lip to the women, pink tip. The pink tip talking about the men. I was not hiding. I was here this time. So anyway, this is my, this I this ain't quite my show, but this is my life. Shut up. Anyway, and so <laughs> I know this is my twin, and I don't know why she's in my show. I mean, I'm alive and I'm on the show. But anyway, so didn't nobody know. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people know. If he's done a little bit of fucking around, then some people probably did didn't know. But um the world did not know, so he came up out that closet, pushed out that closet. Hi. <laughs> I'm only over here because I'm with the dog. You over here because you knows him. I said, hi. Dad. I'm Antoine. And I would like everybody to know that I like boys. <laughs> God bless the LBG till you know we cut up over here. All right, so. Since he came out the, the, the doors um, of the closet, what has been happening is he started to find out who his friend and who ain't his friend. And obviously, from what I understand, you can go, I think it's on Obnoxious Will McQuarrie's YouTube and watch his video. What I'm going to try to do is get hold of him and do the interview. You guys need to tell everybody. I'm going to try to get hold of him and do the interview tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That's what I'm going to attempt to do. If you're in Patreon, you will know by the close of the night if I have secured that. And everybody else that watch. I'm um, going to be watching on my website and on Periscope Live. And those that will be watching the YouTube up below afterwards, it'll just come upon them. But Patreon, you will know, unless I decide to share it on the YouTube message board. Because right now, my Facebook, I can't get on Facebook until they relieve that temporary block. All right? So, he done a video. It's over there on I'm not just thinking. He said, maybe I need to upload that here too. Obviously, one of his friends don't like the fact that some of his members be going over there to his church and now he is ain't now engaged to a mind. And so now his friend, who could or could be not, allegedly, a person that like pink tip to pink tip too, but his folk don't know, is now trying to tell his folk, stay away from them gay churches. Stay away from them gay menses. When the reality is, he like pink tip to pink tip too. You see, you see where how this So what happened was, Pastor Tom Anderson went live and like, look, nigga. I mean, four cuss words and all. He cussed everybody out. And really put everybody on front street saying, look, y'all niggas be in my inbox sending me dictures. Ladies and gentlemen, that's D-I-C-K-T-U-R. You just making a word now. What, baby? Everybody know what that is. You just making you. Wait, wait. I know Bobby is screaming. You said what? I know Bobby is screaming. That's D-I-C-K-T-U-R. E S tinctures. Now I don't really like that word, but it don't work. Pinctures. It don't work. So I just have to leave it like it is. This dog don't like to be bothered, baby. I think he done left you. He's tired. I don't think he like to be bothered. Mom, babe, he, he took your um he took he took 
pizza. This is not my personal live. This I'm gonna upload this Larry live. Y'all doing too much personal stuff. You, you text your mama. Okay, so. Can I get the mm -hmm. So listen to this here. The mama. I'm a, this. We we got faith over here at LRL, and I know I'm live on my personal page, but we still LRL. We got faith. We're going to get hold of this pastor, and tomorrow we're going to talk to him and open up the lines. And if he is in Atlanta, I'm going to get his hips over here, and I want to hear the whole story. <laughs> now, look, I want Bishop George Bloma or either Ben Tehan this week. And we, I want to talk about this $1,000 offer thing. Now, I'm going to say this. Everybody can believe how they want to believe, but for Larry Reed Live, that is not my name. Larry Reed, I'm tithing. I'm doing my Taruma. I'm doing, I'm doing exactly what them Jewish folk doing in the Bible. They would take 2.5% and everything they make and send it to their supervising priest or to your personal prophet, your mentor. And then they will take that 10% to the temple. Then the second 10% be split three ways. One third to the poor. And today, 2019, that can be the working poor. The other piece you put up for your pilgrimage. Three times a year you're supposed to do. And then the third thing is for um, retirement. Because you're supposed to have your own retirement set back and not. I hope some of you ought to realize by now that that retirement, you got them uh, 401ks and what's the name, B's. One wrong turn and that'll all be gone. You better have your own retirement plan. That's And that's what I've been doing with my money. I've always been a tither and a giver. But that's what I've been doing with my money since May the 20 something. The first thing I do is take 2.5% off and send it to my supervising priest, personal profit, mentor, however. Then I take that 10% and I give it to a non-profit. And then that second 10%, I split three ways. And for me... It has blessed my life. So that whole folk to be about don't tithe, don't give. You don't tithe, you don't give. If I decide to, let me be. Let me be. It worked for Larry. Huh? And I have sold a thousand dollar seeds a few times, and I'm talking about a turnaround quick. So I don't know if what he was saying, but the way he said it, it sounded like he was saying, don't give nothing no more. You know, but then at the end, it's like he was talking about the people that do the gimmicks. Either way, Bishop George Bloomer is tearing him a whole new one. He tanned into him like he tanned to chickens and, and, and steaks. Y'all know George Bloomer liked to eat. They know in the world his hips got dead wide from prayer and fasting. Mm -mm. Fast food and prayer. Praying before he eats something. That he been doing that. Hmm. All right. So tomorrow, eight p.m. versus seven. Eight o'clock p.m. tomorrow. Meet me, LarryRelive.com. Or you can wait till after the live show and just meet me over there in the chat on YouTube. Now I'll be back live on YouTube. Live in real time after October the 11th. So we got just a little over a month and that's going to be totally over. I should be back on Facebook. It can be anywhere from three days. Sometimes they do seven days and I do 30 days. I don't know because they're not telling me how long it is. But I'll be back on Facebook really soon. And if you're in Patreon, I'm there right now. And the devil can't touch me. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, Bloomer, he's slimmer now. He's slimmer now. And just because he's slimmer does not mean that he still ain't turning into chickens and to steaks and burgers. It don't mean that. He's just doing a little bit left. You tell me that. All right. I'll talk to each and every one of you tomorrow, every Monday night at 7 p.m., but tomorrow it's going to be 8 o'clock. Now, like I said, my Facebook, I can't go live from there right now. I will be as soon as that live. YouTube, you know, I was already on the strike over there. So that I won't be able to go live over there until after October the 11th. But my website, I paid the monthies. 
to go live over there where nobody can touch, man. You can comment and interact right there. So, LibraryLive.com from your cell phones, from your iPads, from your computers. And when you get over there, you share from there and put it all over your social media so all of the thousands that watch on LRL Facebook can know where we are at. I'm going to make sure I text those of you that are signed up. You say, I got to remember where you at. You know, I'll text you before I go live. If you're not signed up and you want to be texted by me before I go live, text right now. Open up your text thing and text it to this number, 33222, and text Larry Live with no spaces. And I'll text you when I'm live on my website and on Periscope tomorrow between 7 and 8 o'clock. All right? I will talk to you guys. Louise Javier Ruiz, you need to make sure that you inbox me because you owe me. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're taking too darn long. We got to have the conversation. station. All right. God bless you. Who would that say? Hey, Larry, miss you. $12. What $12 mean? I don't know what that mean. Uh, don't laugh at me, Louis. I need for you to inbox me. It's been taking too long. It's time to have the confidence station now. So rally all them boys together. Because y'all going to talk to me because I want to understand. And I'm going to respect you guys. All right? All right. See you later. Peace.